Academic sources are those that are intended for people who already have knowledge or experience in a subject area. Typically, these sources will not provide you with the basic information on the topic. The authors or creators assume that you already know the commonly accepted facts, definitions, history, theories, and research related to the general subject area. The content of the source will be more specific, likely focusing on narrow aspects of a broader issue. There are some sources that bridge the gap between general sources and highly academic ones. For example, you may come across specialized encyclopedias, trade news sources, or professional magazines whose intended audience is people with specialized interest in the topic or subject area. These sources are more specific in nature than encyclopedias, news, magazine, and websites that are aimed at the general public. They also treat the subject matter from a more advanced perspective rather than from a beginner's point of view. For example, the Cambridge Handbook of Psychology, Health, and Medicine is described as a resource for clinical psychologists, mental health professionals, and specialists in health related matters. This encyclopedia like source is used by people in those fields to gain more in-depth knowledge of topics that are new to them. This type of specialized source is likely to be considered more academic than general. So asking yourself, who is the intended audience for this source, is a key factor in distinguishing general from academic sources. Another example is a professional magazine, like Accounting Today. Although technically a magazine source, this one is aimed at accountants in the field and intended to help them stay current with new developments in the profession. The average person would probably not be very interested in the content and might not understand all of the terminology, theories, and approaches discussed in the articles. But an accountant, or even an accounting student who is beginning to specialize in the field, would benefit from this type of informal publication about current events and important topics in the profession. If you're unsure whether a source you've found is considered general or academic, your professor can clarify this for you based on their expectations for the assignment. The two most common academic sources you need to know about are academic books and scholarly journal articles. Academic books and ebooks will usually cover several aspects or perspectives of a particular topic. The type of information they provide is often background and context, as well as current analysis theory, and research on the issue. The purpose of an academic book is to give a comprehensive treatment of a subject. The length of the book allows for quite a bit of information to be conveyed, whether the book's topic is broad or narrow in scope. Academic books are useful sources for increasing your understanding of a topic at a more advanced level and learning a substantial amount of detail from a single source. You do not need to read an entire academic book for it to be helpful in your research. You may choose to only read specific chapters or sections that are most relevant to your topic. Scholarly journal articles will likely be the most complex academic sources you encounter. They are written by experts in a field for other experts who have been educated in the subject. The type of information in scholarly articles is typically the methods, results, and analysis of an original research study. Scholarly articles may also be in-depth analysis of a new theory, approach, or perspective on the topic. For example, one scholarly article related to veterans might be an empirical analysis of responses from veterans that were interviewed. Another is a review of many different studies about veterans' transition back to civilian life with an explanation of how a particular art therapy program can help with that transition. The second is not a scientific study in the way the first one is, but it is an in-depth analysis of existing research and application of that research to a case study. The purpose of a scholarly article is to communicate the findings of one scholar's research to other experts in the field, but the kind of research conducted might vary widely from one article to another. The author does substantial research to write the article, and includes citations and a list of references so others can follow up on the research. The key here is that the scholarly article is the original research study written by the person or people who did the research, not a summary of research written by someone else. Scholarly journal articles are published in peer-reviewed journals. During the peer review process, 
a panel of experts in the field review, evaluate, and suggest revisions to the author before the article gets approved to be published in the journal. Scholarly articles are an established method of communication between experts, or scholars, in a particular field of study. For this reason, students may need to educate themselves with general sources and background information first in order to fully understand the implications and importance of the scholarly articles on your topic. A good strategy for approaching your research is to start with general sources that will help you understand your topic and begin to develop an answer to your research question. Then move on to the more academic sources that dive into the details, theories, and research that will help support your thesis.